Today's reaction video is going to be about the beautiful world record dive in a free immersion discipline done by free diver from Croatia, uh, Peter Klavar. I hope I pronounced his name at least close uh, how it should be sounds. A few months ago we watched a world record dive uh, in the same discipline by, uh, done by uh, Matthias Malina and it was a dive to 127 meters. I think it was a two meters deeper than previous world record. So I think the previous one was 25 and then uh, Malina made the dive uh, two meters deeper to 127 meters. His dive time was around four and a half minutes. And today we're gonna watch an incredible dive to unbelievable 132 meters. And first of all, it's gonna be a new record, a new world record. And second, if it's going to be successful, okay, the spoiler alert, yes, it's going to be successful. It's going to be the deepest uh, dive done by the human without like any assistance. Obviously, there is a uh, deeper dives done with uh, no limits uh, in a no limits discipline or in a variable weights but not in an unassisted discipline, not in a dive with a monofin or bifins or free immersion or obviously no fin. So this is why this dive is just incredible. I know the results of the dive. I know that it's going to be a successful dive. I know it's going to be a new world record. However, I haven't seen the dive yet. Let's watch together. This dive took place during the Seamus uh, Free Diving Outdoor World uh, Championship in 2022 in october 2022 and we're going to watch the video from the actually from the seamus uh, youtube channel i'm going to leave the link in the description below to the whole competition day uh, this is i think day number two so if you want to watch the whole video uh, check out the link in the description and then you can uh, enjoy two hour long uh, video from this uh, competition okay we see a free diver preparing for the dive he already start packing I already actually turn and start the dive. Okay, <laughs> we're still uh, looking at the surface. Hopefully it's gonna be underwater footage at some point. Yes, so free diver pulling himself down pretty fast. Okay, what's strange we see about such dive, not strange, but I would say uh, not uh, like a little bit unusual that free diver instead of using the neck weight uh, using the weight belt so this is not that common um, there is a advantage of the neck weight that you're going to be more streamlined however there is a little disadvantage uh, and i kind of uh, agree with this especially if your neck weight is heavy it's a little bit like um, creating maybe a slight discomfort on your on your jaw okay uh, strong pulls uh, 20 meter deep, 22, uh, so still strong pull. We see the free diver using the waist uh, lanyard, the lanyard on the waist. Okay, still not free falling. Okay, 30 meters. All right, and 33 meters, free diver start free fall. Uh, quite good streamlining position, obviously. I'm not sure if there is like any currents in this place. Hopefully not. Uh, so the dive time uh, 50 seconds and the depth is 60 meters. So you can say that free diver going quite fast, faster than one meters per second. Uh, yeah, so maybe free diver slightly more negative buoyant. Uh, in this case, the dive time, especially the dive time on the way down is going to be a little bit smaller. So the dive is going to be a little bit faster. All right. Uh, we see some manipulation with the equalization. So free diver obviously do some form of the uh, mouse feel. Super nice uh, ankles, uh, good streamlining position. Uh, still full mouse of air. Um, so it is 100 meter dive, 123 uh, seconds. So the dive time is still really fast. Uh, divers eyes, diver eyes a little bit open. So this is helps him to control his uh, streamline. So he watches the silhouette of the rope, perfect streamlining position. So nice streamlining position, boom, 132, <laughs> even uh, on this uh, in a, uh, left side of your screen you see it was at some point 134 meters so at some point this is going to be a new world record 
Okay, free diver turned, uh, grab the tech. Uh, I didn't see where he put it, the tech. Maybe you saw it. Okay, now way up, and we see this uh, small fast movement. If you watched my video uh, where Fatima uh, was doing her free immersion dive, this was also like a small fast movement, but this is not that common. So, this technique. I haven't seen that much this technique before. Okay, free diver at 115 meters, and I think now the pool is becoming a little bit bigger and bigger. I may be wrong. So yeah, as you can see, uh, free diver have a weight belt where he have uh, weights like these big weights. I think this is a uh, weights by the lobster company. They do a neck weight for the pool free diving, but they also do this kind of uh, uh, weight, be uh, weight belts, weights where you can adjust weights like really precisely. Uh, maybe this is a reason why free diver using the uh, weight belt. Okay, 90 meters. Okay, now the pooling technique becoming a little bit like more standard, you can say, where a free diver do like a long pulls. So why free diver did uh, smaller pulls at the beginning? I don't know. Uh, maybe I like this is a, just like my guess. Maybe like not correct at all. Maybe to minimize uh, the risk of the lung uh, squeeze because. Uh, the more stretching you do, especially when you're 130 meter deep, the more chances of having a squeeze. So maybe this is a reason, maybe not. But now when he's uh, like 90 meters and shallow, okay, now the pool's becoming like longer, right? So now like this is a more or less like kind of standard uh, pool technique. So free diver grabbing, grabbing the rope like. Uh, like really, really far uh, above, and then pulling all the way down to his um, to his hips, to his waist. You see, like strong pull. Okay, free diver, 70 meter deep. The dive time: two minute 46 minutes, two minute 40, uh, 46 seconds, which is still relatively fast for such dive. Uh, let's see what is going to be the total dive time. As I told you, let's say Matthias Molina for 127 meters have uh, 4 minutes 32 seconds dive time. Okay, now there's even like a like little delay between the pools, uh, like more relaxed technique. Uh, the technique looks still amazing, so it doesn't seem that free diver affected by like accumulation of any waste products. Okay, the first safety diver is at 43 meters. And also safety divers on this competition use a deepest, at least deepest safety diver used uh, uh, this like machine, uh, the name, just uh, some kind of scooter, underwater scooter. Okay, NASA safety diver 40 meter deep. So I guess this is just main safety diver. Okay, uh, still nice and quite relaxed pulling 30 meter deep, uh, another safety free diver. Uh, okay, now at 27 meters, I can see that free diver starts uh, kicking a little bit with uh, his legs. This is an increased propulsion speed, obviously, kind of take some uh, some like some work from the arms, which are probably already quite tired. Uh, but uh, at the same time, you uh, using more oxygen if you use your legs. If you're using your legs, okay. Now this kind of dolphin kick becoming more obvious when free diver 15 meter deep. The dive time still below four minutes, uh, which is uh, good. And now free diver do a longer glide. Uh, so when when now it's like a 10 meters to the surface, you can say that the technique uh, looks a bit different. But this is an incredibly deep dive, incredibly deep dive and reach the surface. Uh, start exhaling before the surface. As you know, uh, deep free diver exhale below the surface to avoid 
uh, surface like blackouts uh, because the chest is expanding and there is a chance that it's going to compress the heart and then it can be underwater blackout because of this reason but also it can be reason let's say for the squeeze or uh, also free diver want to start inhaling as soon as he reaches the surface so he reaches the surface and immediately inhale okay strong uh, like strong strongly grab the rope and now to need to do surface protocol remove the nose clip as we can see he is a bit uh, whitish which again no surprise this is a first time when the human being was to 132 meters um, in an unassisted discipline okay so okay and i guess he say i'm okay yeah you see the diver's lips are quite blue this is an obviously sign of um, some form of hypoxia he's still doing his recovery breathing and now he's uh, waiting for the judge to confirm that it was a clean dive and the judge say yes clean dive i guess <laughs> because we know that it's a successful dive uh, this is a tech i guess he's still doing recovery breathing i guess yes it is successful dive uh, white card so huge congratulation okay uh, beautiful dive beautiful dive looks like this athlete have still some energy in his tank uh, for sure, for sure, the dive was really difficult for him, but there is a chance that he is going to do a bit deeper in the near future, right? There is a chance, there is a big chance. I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to beat this record, uh, like obviously after the long rest and in the next training cycle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to do it. So the dive time, four minutes, one second, which was which is much lower compared to Matthias Molina dive to 127 meters and the dive time 432. So, which means the technique of this free diver was a little bit more kind of um, maybe not effective. Matthias obviously also, also have effective technique, but let's say a little bit faster. Okay, huge congratulation. Uh, super impressive dive uh, by this Croatian free diver. Uh, yeah. Super uh, happy that now human beings uh, dive a little bit deeper, right? One more time, huge congratulations for the free diver. And if you haven't seen uh, my previous reaction video to Matthew Smalina, uh, world record uh, dive to in the same discipline free immersion, check out uh, this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click here.